Okay. You can have it it, er, it is. Oh wait, what? Keep the bunny? Oh no! <laughs> uh Kira! We need you to be the tiebreaker! Come back! <laughs> We have one for you can have it, and then we have one for I think I'll keep it. So, we need a tiebreaker. Keep it? Okay, we're gonna keep it then. But it looks so creepy. It's the thought that counts, right? You wanted to cheer me up after all. I picked up the doll and looked at it closely. Sure, it looked pretty weird at first. But it could be cute if I looked at it from a certain angle. I gave him a small smile. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh my god. Good to see you smiling. Even though the thing I made still kind of creeps me out. Oh my god. We just get like a little heartbeat for that. <gasps> <sighs> yeah, we can bury it later. Good idea. <laughs> anyway, you should come with me to. Whoopsie. Whoopsie. Ah! I bumped my own hand! <laughs> I'm so sorry! And I don't think there's a back button! Whoops! Uh, sounds great! Lead the way! Hmm, something smells nice! Is it the bunny? I hope so! <laughs> my stomach rumbled in agreement. I was starving! Oh, the girl's awake. Excuse you. I have a name, you know. Should we really care? Uh, bitch, you better care. Sam, I will roast that tongue for dinner if it doesn't stop flapping in that idiotic mouth of yours. <laughs> <We're bo> <laughs> Whatever. I apologize for his attitude. Uh, oh, that's fine. <laughs> Good. I hope you'll enjoy the meal we prepared for you. Meal? Is it the bunny I just received? Because that thing looks like a nightmare. Ah, oh, that's right. Damien and Matthew mentioned that they were making dinner as an apology. Oh, uh, oh, wait, you didn't have to. We insist. Besides, it's quite impossible to undo our cooking, even if you command us to. All right, well, thank you. Fuck you, Matthew! Matthew put down the last of the plates on the table and bowed a bit exaggerate. What? Exaggeratedly? Okay, to me. I've never heard I've never heard exaggerate used in that way before, so that was kinda weird to me. Uh gesturing the table with a sweeping motion. Ha, ah, there we go. Dinner's all served. The table was filled with various foods from an uh eh. There, I cannot talk! Eclectic selection of cuisines. One portion of the table was filled with elegantly plated Asian foods, and another portion, some yummy looking desserts. And there were yet more and more plates that I could have possibly, or more plates than I could have possibly imagined. Wow, that's a lot of food! And it all looks so good! We hope you enjoy it, my sweet. <laughs> no, no, you didn't miss anything from the beginning. <laughs> he just looks so weird. And <clears throat> I'm like, eh, I can't. Uh, okay. He looks so weird. And like his fashion is something that reminds me of like a douchebag. <laughs> so <laughs> I always, I always want to say, fuck you, Matthew, whenever he comes up. So. That's why. That's why we hate Matthew. Is because he just looks like a douchebag. <laughs> oh god. We hope you- Oh wait, yeah. Wh what? Sweet? Me? That's enough, Eric. <laughs> You're no fun, James. I don't need to be fun, Eric. Miss, Aww. Please follow me. I'm sorry. <laughs> you like Matthew. 
<laughs> Eric has that nose. <laughs> right? Oh no, are we gonna have a scene with every single guy? Dear God. I didn't know what came over me. Whether it was his politeness or maybe his power, but I couldn't help but take his offered arm. James seemed very kind and intelligent, but aside from that, there was something that set him apart from his brothers. Not to mention, he didn't really seem to hold much appreciation for them. Miss, I have to ask, why do you live alone? Oh, well, it's kind of a long story. I'm all ears if you wish to tell. Uh, should we tell him or no? Tell him how we got to the stupid mansion in the first place and about our asshole father and our mother not sticking up for us. Okay, so we have one for sure. Everybody else agree? Okay, so we have one for no. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Then we have two for sure, then. Alright. So, I'm guessing that everybody else is in agreement with this. We'll give you guys about ten more seconds. Alright! Three yeses. Alright, that's, that's good enough for me. Sure. To put it briefly, I just moved here today. That explains the luggage you brought in when you came through the front doors. By the way, we put your belongings in the room you were sleeping in. That seems to be the master bedroom, I believe. Thanks. This house is really big. I don't think I even explored the entirety of the estate when I was a child. You lived here before? Um, no. Truth be told, this is my grandfather's house. I used to visit him all the time when I was younger. May I ask why you now live in your grandfather's house? He actually passed away yesterday. It was... Be what? Bequeath? I don't know. I don't even know that word. Sorry, guys. Uh, to me and his will, and I was sent to live here, whether I liked it or not. My condolences. It seems like you don't like the idea of living here. It's not that I don't like this house, or that I don't have fond memories of being here. It just... or what? It just... It's just the implications that come with staying at this estate. It's kind of complicated to explain. How do you feel about it? Okay, so I did say it right. Bequeathed. <laughs> okay, I will remember that for next time, because I had never even seen that word before. No, 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 I don't think they killed him. It's just in the beginning of the game, they were like, uh... Well, I know what it means, guys, I know what it means. I just had never seen it before. Um, but anyways... So in the beginning of the game, the grandfather died, and the house was in, or she inherited the house, um, and her grandfather like owns this toy factory, and like her father got mad because she got the house instead of him, and um, that's why she's living there now is because her dad was like, oh well, you know what? I didn't get the house, you did, so fuck you. You're getting out of my house now. <laughs> And we don't know why he died, I'm guessing of old age, probably. But we won't know for sure until later. <laughs> I certainly wasn't expecting that question. But in a good way. It was different from what I had heard the entire day at school. I appreciated the fact that he was more willing to listen. I feel... angry... Sad, scared, and confused. It's hard picking out the different emotions that I'm feeling right now. I wish I was stronger. You don't have to be strong. What do you mean? I understand that you're going through a difficult time, so it's okay to feel those emotions. You don't have to be strong at all. Thank you. Uh, are you alright? There seems to be a small bruise on your cheek. 
And with a small bruise on her cheek, it's because her dad slapped her in the face. He caught me off guard with that comment. I thought no one would have noticed something as small as that. Oh, oh I'm fine. He stopped uh, and leaned in close, a bit too close for comfort. Or maybe it's just me, inspecting my face. He was really quite tall, having to bend over so much just to look me or look at me straight in the face. It was hard to look at him, especially when he was so close. After a few seconds, he straightened up and began walking again. Hmm. Well, if you're having any problems, I'm always here to listen. Aw, he's actually quite sweet. That's really kind of you to offer that. My pleasure. Here's your seat. Ah, gentleman type are my weakness. No! Let me get your chair for you, lovely lady. Eric. Eric, why? Oh, uh... Eric was very charming, and his smile pulled at my heart. Oh, my dear heart. <laughs> the way he kept flirting with me uh, definitely design, uh, designated... Sorry, guys. I am obviously tired. <laughs> designated him as the charmer of the demons, yet... There was a little distance in his eyes. By the way, I apologize for my behavior earlier. Stealing your second kiss like that. Huh? Oh, yeah. When I didn't believe that they were incubi. It, it's fine, I guess. I mean, you didn't just get up and grab a kiss for no reason. I'm not as forward, unlike Sam. <laughs> oh my god, Chris, that laugh. <laughs> Chris! Ugh. I can't. <laughs> Suddenly, Eric leaned in and whispered in my ear, No, no, Chris, if you seriously whisper in this next part, I am literally gonna die. I won't lie, though. I enjoyed kissing you and feeling you melt in my arms. Chris! <laughs> oh, no! No, I don't think Chris is actually here, but <laughs> I will tell him all about this on Facebook later. <laughs> oh, God. Chris. Because, to be honest, Chris, Chris is really, really damn hot, okay? He dated one of my friends, and I was so jealous. <laughs> I was torn between smacking him and trying to play it cool. Uh, should we smack him or be cool about it? As I'm just dying here because of Chris's whispering voice. Smack all of them. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, okay, so we have one for smack all of them. <laughs> for smack him, I should say. Okay, so we have two for smack him. But softly and playfully. Wink, wink. <laughs> nudge, nudge. <laughs> Oh, Chris. <laughs> okay, we're gonna smack him. Let's do this. That's going to sting. S sorry, I panicked. No, I was expecting that. <laughs> I drew my attention back to the dishes. I, I was both intrigued and slightly scared by the amount of food they made. Seeing my expression, Eric leaned forward and proudly smiled, gesturing to all of the dishes with a dramatic sweep of his arm. I made almost all of the dishes myself. Good job, Eric. <laughs> Fuck you, Matthew! Humorously enough, Matthew looked at him with a shocked expression as if he was betrayed. His face changed instantly to that of a frown. And I'm the queen of the Nile. Oh, God. What's that supposed to mean? Such sass! Me, you, and...